Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trader uh, Genius Stock Option Daily Review for the 27th, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Jay. And our goal is to show you that there are opportunities to make a nice little profit every day in stock options. You need to have the right knowledge. You need to have the right training, the right practice, the expertise a tool that does the majority of the heavy lifting for you because there's 5,500 stocks and millions and millions of options. So we need to make sure we're picking things that are uh, moving and liquid. And of course, our software does a lot of that heavy lifting for us. So it's February 27th, Coach Jay, were we able to uh, have some good trades today? We were, we were able to find some, some really pretty decent trades, even on a uh, mundane overall day, but on the basket, you can see that the morning back half, 9.30 to 10, was a bit of a green, and then the first half of the 10 o'clock hour was was red. We're going to spend most of our time in this zone, but uh, why not? You know, get it done in the morning and, and be able to go have fun and, and do what you enjoy most in life in the afternoon. So on the first trade for today, is Home Depot, and it's gonna take a minute to set up. We're gonna to go to the beginning of the day and switch to one minute candles. So here we are, one minute candles. And we can see that Home Depot is uh, thinking about potentially a down move at this, at this juncture. And so we'll go, oh, here we are. Everything's starting to turn on. We've got our fantastic four. We've got some, the, the signal, the trend line, J stop and K band, as well as a little bit of volume right here. And the thing that I like is that it's dropped below this wrist zone, this blue line right here, and is holding down below it. Well, let's go ahead and buy a put and move forward. And there you have it, 38% in one minute. This isn't uh, an everyday occurrence, but uh, it does happen and it's nice to be alerted that, uh, hey, something big's going on here and there's some good opportunity. And that's exactly what this candle did with all the, the software turning on with all these signals. We also have these lines crossing over. In previous videos, we've talked about uh, the blue star. It's a little hidden right now behind this red, red arrow, but that is the blue star. And blue star is gonna usually mean something significant's gonna happen, whether it's starting a trend, ending a trend, or whatever it may be. So some interpretation is needed. But one of the other things on this one other than the fact that getting 38% in one minute isn't, uh, isn't enough, there is a nice volume spike. And then its daily moved range is at 109%. So once it gets to that 100%, sometimes you'll see a, a stall out. And I don't want to wait for it all to get figured out. This, this may go longer. It may not go longer. But I'm going to go ahead and close now at 38%. Big powerful move on Home Depot. We are going to check out uh, Tesla next, right about the same time frame. Tesla's having a kind of a similar pattern. It's in, in a breakout and it's come out of the risk zone and it's holding above with a volume spike. I like this. You can see where it had gone kind of flat, it struggled a little bit right here, maybe catching some, some steam, and then boom, pops right out. Let's get by a call and move forward. Okay, for me, this is my exit and why you might say we've got even volume things look pretty good 
there really isn't any big, you know, neon sign saying, get out, get out, get out. I look at the distance that we've moved relative to how the stock has been moving previously. It's a little early in the morning to be making a really kind of good feel for that. But there's a couple things here that we want to look at. One, this candle is struggling a little bit. This wick is very long and this one's shorter. It's squishing down closer to this price. The other thing is we're hitting a whole dollar amount which can cause some, some stall out. It's not as significant as, as if it was sitting at 300. That would, be, that would be way more significant. But if you look back here on the, to the left, where this move started, it was about, we'll just call it 301. And it ended right around 303.50, just in this 303 range is stalling out with the RA. So roughly a $2, $2 and change move. When it broke out of here, I am looking at roughly about the same, keeping that in my mind. So when I look at these other, uh, other indicators that aren't these neon signs saying, get out, get out, I'm paying attention to that. And look at this, RA of 303.66. This is at 303.56. So it's moved almost the whole $2. I'm out of there with 12%. Don't want to stick around any longer. We can for uh, if we want, see if it goes any further, and it just kind of goes flat after that point. So it's not that would be very flat. painful to go through if you didn't get out. That's absolutely you, you lose you'll lose so much of your profits on this one candle before it kind of starts to flatten out and you know not decide on a direction it's not it's not worth it so one of the big things that i always coach my students on is looking at everything looking at the totality of everything and having the ability to evaluate each of these individual factors and weigh them on a scale in total with what's going on so this one that's enough for for me to exit on that Let's see here stay in the morning and head towards Facebook. Facebook had some good opportunities a little bit later. Facebook is showing that it's got, it's been flat. I had a little up, but it stalled out at the previous low and is just kind of bouncing around. It's, it's channeling in this kind of risk zone between the end of the risk zone and really the benchmark. So when it's bouncing around in here, this look at all these green candles. For me personally, in my trading strategy, I don't care. This isn't a place where I'm gonna trade because it's not really showing that it's gonna choose a direction. This is kind of a good uh, cycle trade here. Um, just in it, the kind of even nature of this. But here we go. It's decided that it's going to break out. We've got some of the Fantastic Four. Not everything's lighting up, but the market overall is starting to gear up. You can see that it's in a building phase, and we got a little bit of volume right here. So 20%, I would either, one of the things we talked about before is the um, some of these support lines and getting out right at the support lines. If a stock blows through a support line, I then adjust uh, where my next exit would be. That's not always the case. It depends on the behavior of the stock and that comes with experience and coaching. It can help speed up some of that experience of being able to watch the ticker and understand some of the candles, what's going on. So this at 15% plus a volume spike would be a great time to get out. And that's probably where I would exit. It does go a little bit further. I clicked too far, but here's even a larger volume spike and it's stalling out at the 162. 
I don't really care about this. This is the first indicator for me is this volume spike and this support line. If we look to the left, we can see that volume spikes not much bigger than this or even less has caused uh, a trend to begin or end. We look right here at this volume spike and that's what started this whole thing. And we look at this volume spike and that's when it decides to kind of get above 163 and start moving up. So with that much volume compared to what's been going on for the day, call it good. There's no sense in being greedy on this one. So that is our trades for uh, February 27th, 2019. We have Facebook at 15%, Home Depot at 37.7%, and Tesla at 12.2%. So that's uh, over a 50% gain in six minutes. That's I'd, a say that's a, <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good day. Coach Jay, uh, any way that you uh, you slice it. Yeah, and we've got the rest of the day to enjoy doing whatever it is we want to do. Awesome. So thank you very much for sharing it. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, we've got uh, training for you. We've got a 10-day free trial. Uh, check the uh, check the descriptions. You get more details there. And we'll see you next time. Happy trading. Bye-bye.